What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the final episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we defeated the the vanilla bosses, which are the Broodmother and the Megapithecus. And now we're going to try to defeat an Alpha modded boss, which is the Alpha Liviatin. Which is basically precious, except much larger. So, what we're going to do for this... Now, I was watching the Axeman's video on this. And pretty much what is going on is that the boss is OP as hell. I was expecting that. But it spawns in so many minions that it kind of just breaks the game in a way. Now, I did hear it was since patched... But I kind of don't want to take any chances with that. So what we're going to do, we're going to give this a shot. We're only going to use Precious. Now, it does say it's recommended that we use creatures aside from the Liviadin, like armies of Liviadin. It's recommended that we use those. But you know what? We do a lot of damage. Like on creatures because we have everything on easy difficulty we might actually bring the mosasaur and the hmm, maybe the dragon for backup but for the most part the whale's going to be doing most of the damage so now the whale does 4,000 damage per bite and I heard the whale has about the alpha whale has about a million health alright let me just swim over to the moza See how much damage we do with the Moza. 5,000. Okay, you know what? That's kind of cool. We got 25 levels, too. You know, let's get you up to... Half a million health is where we're safe. Because this guy does have a million health. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with this. I think we can take it. We might be able to take it with just the Moza, but we'll use the whale as a backup. Now, I would say, normal under normal circumstances, I would recommend an army for this. But I think we could do this. All right, Pearl. Daddy's going on a little adventure. He's going to try to defeat an alpha whale. So let's go swimming far enough away from the base where we could just spawn this guy in with no problem. Uh, I I am not excited for this. Now, he does need to be very deep down into the ocean. Deep down. In order for this to work. We're going to give it a try. Now, if we can just kill it quickly, before it spawns too many minions, then we might be able to do this. Alright, Plesiosaur, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Alright, where's your friend? Don't you usually have buddies? Don't run away from me. Eels. Alright, we do about 6,000 damage. Honestly, I'm kind of praying that Aberration gets delayed. Simply because I want to do more on here. I just, I just want to carry out this series a little bit longer. But, I know me. The one time I want a DLC to get delayed, it's actually on time. That's how it's going to go, I do feel. Alright. Is this good enough? There's the air bubble. We can use that to strategize if we needed to. Alright, let's get rid of this plesiosaur. Alright, we should be good. Alright, let me uh, get the three of us ready and we'll be good to go. I will be riding the dragon here. And I'm just going to have the Moza and the Whale attack it. Alright, there we go. Uh, Dragon? Why did you just float to the top? Hold on, let me go grab my dragon. This item can be used to summon the Alpha Liviadin, the King of the Sea, which will grant high-quality loot and ingrams when killed. Many ocean tributes are required to create this horn. It can only be used underwater and only one use. Only one use only. Is that enough onlys? 
Uh, why are you floating all the way back to the top? No, no, you stay down here. Maybe if I just have you on follow, you won't float back to the top. All right, it broke. Okay. I don't know what happened then. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me, uh... I, I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, take two. Let me try that again. Okay, it just broke again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Hey guys, this is Editing Jason. I just wanted to let you guys know that I think I know the reason why the horns kept breaking when I tried to use them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 85% sure that it's because I was on infinite stats and god mode the entire time. That might mess it up. I know I was kind of cheating, but I didn't really have enough time to finish this before Aberration, so I was kind of in a rush to get this done. So, please forgive me, and this won't happen very often, so, yeah. That's basically my thoughts, and let's get back to the video. Okay, we got five more. Okay, it keeps breaking on me. I... I don't understand what's going on. Let me try this again. Alright, stay there. For a minute. Why... Why do they keep breaking? I... I don't understand. It's gotta work at some point. Okay, last one. Okay, they just keep breaking. I don't know what's going on. And my sea dragon's back at the top again. Alright, so... I'm admin spawning this in because every horn I use to summon it, it just breaks. So, all right, spawn dino. We want the alpha. Oh, it it tames it. We we don't want that. All right, after a little bit, we just uh, how much health does this guy have? Only 240,000. That This is only a level 1, mind you. I'm gonna help out, too. Oh. He's unconscious. Uh, is that supposed to happen? Let's just... Alright, that... That was only a level one, mind you, but that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And look, look at the loot we get from that. Holy crap. <sighs> Obviously, this is not the, um, the conventional way to tame this guy, but it's, it's all I can be bothered to do at the moment. All right. At level 150, it has 1.7 million health. Okay, can you get out the way so I can... Alright, everyone just attack it. And the dragon just knocks it out immediately. Alright. Yeah, obviously this guy is taking a lot longer. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna up the gamma so I can see. Yeah, he's just knocked the hell out. Yeah, this is not fair. This is really not fair at all. Alright, um, Glacus, can I ride you? Thank you. Alright, I guess we're just... This is not fair. It really is not fair. We just knocked this guy out. That's gotta be a bug. Gotta be a bug in the system. Alright, I think they stopped attacking it because it is unconscious. I guess it has a damage resistance because we're only doing 3,700 damage. When we were doing 5,000 before. Yeah, I know, it's this is kind of cheating, but... Uh, this mod is kind of broken, so it evens out. So if you call me out for cheating, I'll remind you that this mod is broken.
Yeah, this is this is not the traditional way. Not the traditional way to defeat this guy. You do need an army. Your eye is bigger than my entire body. That's crazy. Yeah, I I am so sorry about this. <laughs> so so sorry. I did not I did not foresee this. Okay? I did not foresee that this guy, the dragon thing, would be able to knock it out within a matter of seconds. I I did not see that coming. Alright, this guy should wake up soon. So wait for him to wake up, and then I'm just gonna let the whale and the Mosasaur finish him off. We did a good chunk of damage to him, actually. We actually did a good chunk of damage. I do have them on infinite stats in god mode, though. Because I didn't want to lose them. On normal circumstances, I would do this legit, but... Uh, I'm just doing this for content purposes, and it's... This is a very convoluted mod. Alright, it's waking up. It's waking up. Go back to doing damage to it. I'm just gonna let the whale and the mosasaur deal with it. They're doing a good chunk of damage to it, actually. Uh, why'd you guys stop? Keep attacking it. Um, I don't know why they stopped. And it's knocked out again. It's knocked out again. Why? Why? This guy has so little torpor. Yeah, I... I... Do not know what the hell's going on. I... I... This is so confusing. This is such a buggy mod. It really is. Alright, they've waken up. He's waking up. Attack it. They attack him for a little bit, and then they just stop. I don't know why. Alright, the Moses doing damage. I don't know what the whale's doing. I don't know why the whale's just standing there. Are you over encumbered? Is that why? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you are. Alright, the only one doing damage is the Mosasaurus. I don't know why our whale's just standing there. I think that's why you're unable to attack. Yeah, you're over encumbered. That's why. I'll help you. Wait a minute. Thyla? We do have a, a Thyla saddle. I might keep the Thyla saddle for our Thyla. Any Rex saddles in there? Oh, we do have a Rex saddle. What about Spino? I'll keep that. Giga? No, okay. Let's just go ahead and drop all of that. I don't think we need all of that loot. Yeah, guys, again, this is not the traditional way to do this. Not the conventional way to do this. But, you know what? It's working. Alright, we're down to the last 100,000. 1.7 million health is still a lot of health. Yeah, we're never doing this again. Just so you know. And it's dead. That's awesome. And we are officially over encumbered. Alright. Actually, let me see what we got for weapons. We got an ascendant, one of these. What about a pike? Oh, we do get a pike. Alright, yeah, yeah, this is not traditional, but you know what, I, I really don't care. Well, I guess this was unconventional, I know. Not very conventional and not the way the mod was intended, but you know what? It's the final episode, who gives a crap? You did well, you did well, but you know what? I beat the Alpha Leviathan, but at what cost? At what cost? I did just cheat, but... And I promise you guys... 
Can't breathe without scuba. Forgot about that. All right, Glacus, um, follow me. Well, that's that done and over with. I just, basically, I just wanted to check it out. I didn't really care if we did it legit or not. I just wanted to check it out. It's really cool. I love how it's got, like, the, uh, yeah, stay there. Why were you jumping out of the water like that? You were probably still following me. That's probably why. All right, we don't need the mask anymore. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Why is everything on attack my target? You should be on passive. I... Why are there Dinosuchus glitching through the wall? I... You know what? I really don't care at this point. Alright, we got the Ascendant Rex Saddle. Ah. Do we have any eggs to hatch up? Let's start with Argentavis. 199, 203, 194, 220, 219, and 213. We don't need any of those. Dinosuchus. We need a 234 for this. 234, nothing. Alright. What about 236? Nope. Okay. Kill all of them. For Vectospinus, we need 217. Vectospinus. got a female. If only you were a male. I think it is a double melee mutation. Or a health mutation, even. Do we get a 219? No. Okay. Kill them all, and then finally, Rex. We need a 250. Oh, we finally got a male. And it looks like a Food mutation. Alright, let's kill those. Alright. You know, let's go out with the blue pyromane. And then put you away and drop you off in a terminal. I didn't want to get off. I wanted to close... I don't want to get off. I want to close the gate. There we go. Don't worry, there's another adventure coming in Aberration, so... Once Aberration comes out tomorrow, we'll work on that. That's an Alpha Megalodon. Let's just fly over to the blue obelisk and put the blue pyromane away. I want to save that for, like, a future episode. Maybe they might become available in Ragnarok, because Ragnarok does have a volcano island, or the Lost Island, or Fjordr when they come out. Because right now it's a center exclusive. So I don't know. I wonder, will some of the other creatures make it into the other maps at some point? Like, maybe will we see Shastasaurus in, like, Ragnarok or something? Not 100% sure. Alright. Luna, you stay there. You're not coming with us, obviously. Oh, yeah, we got Coco Crispy from Scorched Earth, Olivia the Terror Bird, Ed the Hyena Dawn, Drago the Argentavis, and the Carnotaurus that we haven't named yet. I think it was the, the one that's beautiful. Alright. Can we upload this? Ah. Uh, there we go. All right, I just uploaded it. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to use it in a future series. All right, before before we end the episode off, let's say one final goodbye to our teams. And there's our old base. There's our old base. I might actually, you know what? Shall we just pick everything up? Oh, that's damaged. A lot of this is damaged. Oh, wait, we can pick this part up, though. The stuff we can pick up will probably just... That damage was probably from the wrecks that attacked us in Episode 2, I would say. There we go. All right. We should be golden. All right. I want to see if we could build a base in the air bubble. That would be cool. An underwater base in the air bubble? That's That's pretty awesome. Actually, let's test out the Shastasaurus, see if we can put, like, foundations on it. Alright, Plesiosaur, stay right there while I... Precious, what the hell are you doing? Well, let's see if we can place a foundation down. If not, 
We can, but it's a bit glitchy. Hmm. All right, good to know. I don't think it's really meant... This counts as a foundation, right? Uh, you're being attacked by jellyfish? Um... Alright, get out of there before... Alright, there we go. Yeah, we were being attacked by a jellyfish. Because... Yeah. Alright. We'll let those jellyfish... We'll let the whale deal with the jellyfish. There it is. I see it. Alright, I just want to test it out. See if we can... See if we can build in there. Or if that's classed as a cave. And then I think we might just end the episode at the air bubble. No, wait, I still gotta say goodbye to my creatures. I still gotta say goodbye to them. Alright. Can I build a base here, or is this classed as a cave? Let's find out. Can I place structures here? I can. Okay. That is good to know. That is good to know that we can actually build structures here. I am excited for Aberration. The reason I want Aberration to get delayed is because I I love the center more. I really do. Alright. Well, we've done it. We've built a base in the air bubble. Alright, so... And I just pooped. Nice. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you guys back at base where we say goodbye to our creatures. First things first, let's say goodbye to our ocean creatures. Mosasaurus, you did good with the, the battle. I tamed you for the sake of taming you. Pearl, you are getting stung by jellyfish. Alright, yeah, you guys might want to do something about those jellyfish. Alright. Alright, we get it. You were being attacked by jellyfish. Alright, Pearl... Even though you were a male, you were relatively easy to tame. I'm sorry we didn't get to play with you as much. Precious? You really are precious. You're definitely worthy of the name. I think we do have jellyfish. I think as long as this guy's here, we've got jellyfish. Oh, we can kill them for biotoxin. That's cool. Alright. Those jellyfish are gonna keep being a nuisance at some point. Let's just keep going. We only named a few creatures. Like Precious, for example. Alright, close. Nope. Not le lock me out. Lock me in. There we go. Uncle Dunkle. Again, you're a female, but I called you Uncle Dunkle anyway. Simply because you're just really cool, I guess. Uncle Dunkle is just a really creative name. As well as the Ambulocetus, which we've never named, but you're really cool. You're honestly... You're honestly a lot better than I expected. Like, strength-wise. I didn't expect you to be anything great, but... You turned out to be great, so. Sea Dragon, I know we got you very late on in the series, but we're, I'm glad we tamed you. Really glad we tamed you. Megalodon, we never ended up using. The Zephactinus, these guys are killing machines. And then we got the Basilosaur, really cool. And the Ichthyosaurs, they got us to tame the Shastasaur. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to. The Gecko? The Gecko has been a real MVP. Allowing us to go in the underwater adventures, and if it weren't for them, we would have to constantly repair scuba gear. Alright. Oh yeah, Ghost and the Diamantinosaur. The Diamantinosaur, really good. Ghost, you are also a really good specimen as well. At 
at this point, we were gonna tame you for breeding purposes, but we ended up taming you as like a trophy. Just so we got it. So we have you. Oh yeah, we got the green, the greenhouse with the Fiomia and the dung beetle. That's nice. We've also got plenty of pyromanes. Oh, speaking of pyromanes. Which one's Mufasa? Mufasa, wherever you are. I don't know where Mufasa is. Apricot. And the Spino. And the RG and the Barsboldia. I'm gonna miss you guys. I really am gonna miss you guys. We got the Nothosaurus, which was an MVP for a little bit. The Dinosuchus. There you are, Mufasa. You have been my go-to Pyromane for the longest time. Of course, until we got the blue Pyromane, but you know what I mean. You're really cool. We also got the the Maelania. We got a couple Rexes. And the Dinosuchus. You've been an MVP when it comes to aquatic adventures as well. You're the biggest aquatic that we can shoot off the back of. And you're just an overall really cool crocodile, in my opinion. The Civ Ethereums we never got to use. The Aloe was just a trophy. Nothing more. Uh, we never got to use Apricot, but I tamed a Thyla just to tame a Thyla. And you ended up having really good health. About 51 points into health, which is really good. The Vecta Spinus. I tamed you because you were cool looking and you turned out to be an absolute unit. Very wonderful. Oh yeah, and whatever we got reading. Alright. And with that, for the very last time in the series, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Join me again next time where we will start our Aberration series. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.